In this video, I will be teaching you how to solve sequences problem solving. So for example, we have this problem. Jenny makes gift baskets for Valentine's Day. She has 10 baskets left over from last year. And she plans to make 5 more each day. If there are 18 work days until the day she begins to sell the baskets, how many baskets will she have to sell? So, how to solve this? The first thing to do is to um, write first in sequence form so that we can identify what kind of sequence is the given problem. So we have at first it's 10 baskets uh, and it we will add 5 for each day. So that means the next uh, day it will be 15 uh, plus 5 20 plus 5 25 and so on so this will be your first uh, uh, term which is actually uh, just the leftover and then for the first day for the day one that is plus 5 that makes it 15 so this will be your second term the second day it is now 20 because you add 5 so that's the third term the third day you add 5 that makes it 25 so that's the fourth term and so we're looking for the 18th day and that will be now your 19th term so this problem is actually an arithmetic sequence because it has a common difference of 5 and we're going to look for the 19th term so we'll use this formula for the nth term where we will change the n by 19. Then we will substitute a sub 1 is 10 and the common difference is 5. Then we will simplify. So 19 minus 1 is 18. And then I will copy to have some more space. Then 18 times 5 is 90. Then we'll add 10 plus 90. It will be 100. That means uh, at day 18 or the 18th day, then there will be all in all 100 baskets. Now let's have another example. Suppose you drop a tennis ball from a height of 25 feet. After the ball hits the floor, it rebounds to 75% of its previous height. How high will the ball rebound after its sixth bounce? So let us list the uh, the given to figure out what sequence uh, is the given. So 25, that's the height of the where the tennis ball started. And the next uh, terms will be multiplied by 75% or 0.75. So 25 times 0.75. It will be 18.75. Then 18.75 will be multiplied by 0.75, which is 75%. The result will be the third term, which is 14.0625. And so on. It's, it's going to be the same process. So this is your first term. And the first after the first bounce, it will bounce back to 18.75 feet. That will be your second term. After the second bounce, it will be go up to 14.0625 feet. That will be your third term. And we're going to look for the sixth bounce, or the bounce six. We don't know how high it is, but, we, that, but it will be the seventh term. And so this is actually a geometric sequence because it has a common ratio of 0.75. And we're going to solve now for the A7 or the 7th term. So we're going to substitute N by 7. And then we're going to substitute farther. The A sub 1 or the first term is 25. The R is, or the common ratio is 0 0.75. And then we get the 0 0.75 to the power of 6 it will be 0 0.18 but, but actually it's going to be very long 0 0.177 and so on so it's 
uh, we're gonna round off to two decimal places that's why as you can see we don't use equal sign but it said the sign for approximately equal to because we we round it up and then we multiply 25 times 0 0.18 so it's approximately equal to 4.5 feet another example in a certain region the number of highway accidents increased by 2.5 percent over a five-year period how many accidents were there in 2021 if there were 5,200 in 2017 so it is a five-year period from 2017 up to 2021 and so we're gonna solve this so let us uh, write first let's just arrange it in in a sequence form so at, at year 2017 it will be 5200 in the next uh, year it will become 5330 because that's the that's additional 2.5% so 5200 additional 2.5% it will be 5330 so this is the 2017 and it is your first term and this will be 2018 which will serve as a second term and then we're going to look for 2021 and that will be the fifth term so let us solve this this is actually um, a geometric sequence uh, so because it's it's something 5200 times something to make it 5330 where it indicates that it's 2.5 percent so the common ratio for this is 1.025 that's 5200 times 1.025 that's 5330 so the 025 there is 2.5 percent and you might wonder why is there one so let me explain it to you so 100 percent that serves as the original amount 5200 and you're gonna add 2.5 percent from it to get the next term so all in all that's 102.5 percent now of course we don't solve we don't multiply this number because it's percent so you need to change it into decimal so we're going to multiply this by 100 to make it into decimal and so it will be 1.025 so it must be 100 percent plus the 2.5 percent or else if you're going to just multiply 5200 by 2.5 percent it will just become smaller and smaller so for in order for it to be increasing you have to add up the hundred percent so it will be hundred percent plus the additional percentage that's why it becomes 102.5 percent or 1.025 in decimal and so let us solve for the fifth term using the formula for the geometric sequence in the end term so let's substitute so n is 5 and then substitute further a sub 1 is 5200 the common ratio is 1.025 and subtract the exponents 5 minus 1 is 4 then we'll compute 1.025 to the power 4 so it's approximately 1.10 so we just round off this value because it's going to be very long decimal so we just round up to two decimal places. And then let's continue. So 5,200 times 1.10 will be 5,720 highway accidents by 2021. So let's have another example. Joel earned 240 pesos in the first day, 350 pesos in the second day, and 460 pesos in the third day, and so on. How much did he earn in two weeks? So let us plot this in sequence form. So we have the first day 240, and the second and third day will be 350 and 460. So this is the day one, that's the first term. Day two, which will serve as the second term, and the day three will be your third term. And then, so we're gonna have the two weeks or the day 14 or 14th day, we don't know how much he is earned. But it is not asking for the 14th day earned, but it's asking for 
how much did he earn. It is just the same as how much in total he earned for the two weeks. And so, this is actually an arithmetic sequence because if we're going to subtract the second and the first term, it's 110. If you subtract third and second term, it's 110. So that means there is a common difference of 110. So you just keep on adding 110 to get the sequence. And then it's looking for the sum of the whole two weeks. So although the 14th day is not necessarily asked, but you need to solve it because it's part of the formula. It's a, there's a sub n. So we're going to solve it first. So the 14th day or the a, the a sub 14, we're going to substitute n by 14. And then substitute the, the rest of the given. a sub 1 is 240. And the common difference is 110. Then subtract 14 minus 1, that's 13. And then 13 times 110, that's 1,430. And then we'll add 240 plus 1,430, it will be 1,670. So at the 14th day, he earned 1,670. So all in all, how much did he earn for two weeks? So we're going to solve it. So we substitute n is 14 and the first term is 240 and the last term that the 14th day is 1670. So let's continue. So let us continue. Let's copy the last part and then we're going to solve the inner part, the one inside of the grouping symbol. So 240 plus 1670 will be 1910. And then we can take the half of 14, so that's 7. 7 times 1,910 is 13,370, and we have the unit pesos. So all in all, uh, for two weeks, he earned 13,370 pesos. Now another example. Heavy rain in the city caused the river to rise. The river rose two inches in the first day and each day twice as much as the previous day. How much did the river rise in a week? So this is the given. It's two inches at first. And then it multiplies by two because it's given it's twice as much as previous day. So th two times is four. Four times two is eight. So by the first day, it's still two inches. It's the first term. By the second day, uh, it it rose again by four inches, and uh, that's the second term. So for by third day, it rose again by eight inches. So that's the third term, and we're gonna look for the uh, also for the day seven. So actually, it's not necessary to find uh, how much it rose by the seventh day, but it's asking for the total uh, inches that has been add it so this is actually a geometric sequence because it's because of the common ratio too because it's twice so it's times two now let us solve for the sum so the formula of the the finite geometric sequence because it's finite it's only up to the seventh day so we have a sub one times one minus r to the power of n all over one minus r so let us substitute. So n is 7. And then we substitute a sub 1 is 2. And the common ratio is 2. Then we're going to solve for the 2 to the power of 7, which is 128. Then subtract 1 minus 128. It will be negative 127. Then multiply 2 times negative 127 will be negative 254. Also at the bottom, 1 minus 2 is negative 1. So negative divided by negative, it will become positive. So it's positive 254 inches. So all in all, for the whole week, it, uh, it rose by 254 inches. So let's have another example. And I guess this will be the last. So convert. 0.3 bar into fraction. 
So you might wonder how is this decimal and fraction connected to sequences. And you will understand that later that this is part of problems in sequences. So to, to convert this, let us review first how to convert a decimal to fraction. So for example, we have 0 0.5 and we want to convert this into fraction. So since this 0 0.5 is read as 5 tenths, because it's in the tenths place, then it can be written as 5 tenths or 5 over 10. Then we can reduce it, divide it by 5, so it will be 1 over 2 or 1 half. So 0 0.5 can be written in fraction form as 1 half. Also for 0 0.75, or it can be read as 75 hundredths, it can be written in fraction as 75 hundredths or 75 over 100. Then we can reduce it by dividing by 25. So it will be 75 divided by 25 is 3, and 100 divided by 25 is 4. So that is 3 fourths. So that's how can you convert decimal into fraction. But for the given, it's different because it's going to be harder. Why is it harder? Because this 3 bar, it means 3, 3, 3, 3, and so on. So there's no ending. Unlike the 5, you know that it's in the place tenths place. And also the 75 hundreds, you know that's in the hundreds place. But here it's never ending 3. So there's no, I, you, you have no idea what place value is uh, the, the, it is uh, placed. And so this is how you do it. We're going to write it in this way, the 3 bar. So it's the same as 0 0.3 plus 0 0.03 plus 0 0.003. And so on. So if you if you add it all, it will be the same as the one on top, the three, 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 and so on. But it's never ending. So since it's never ending, and it can be written also as this. So if you're going to remove plus, then it's gonna be a sequence. And this sequence is actually an infinite geometric sequence. So it's infinitely uh, long geometric sequence. And why geometric sequence? Because it has a common ratio of 0 0.1. Because 0 0.3 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.03. Then 0 0.03 times 0 0.1 is 0 0.003. And so on. So you keep on multiplying 0 0.1, you will have the next term and it's infinitely long. So there's no end of this because it's, it's a non-terminating decimal. And so, to convert the given into fraction, we're going to get the sum of these terms. So, we'll use the formula for infinite geometric sequence. That is, S sub infinity is A sub 1 over 1 minus R. Where R should be in between, between, in between negative 1 and 1. Where 0 0.1 lies. And so, let us substitute. So, we have a sub 1 is 0 0.3, that's the first term, and our ratio is, common ratio is 0 0.1. And we'll subtract 1 minus 0 0.1 is 0 0.9. And then to make this whole number, both numerator and denominator, we'll multiply it by 10 to make it easier. So 0 0.3 times 10 is 3, and 0 0.9 times 10 is 9. Then we're going to reduce it, both are divisible by 3. So 3 divided by 3 is 1, and 9 divided by 3 is 3. So the fraction form of 0 0.3 bar is 1 third. Thanks for watching, and I hope you have learned from this video. Please support my channel by pressing the subscribe button. And also, write the math topics you want to learn in the comment section.